Hello guys, how's it going? Alex Grandpa here. I hope you're well. Today I've got the MX-5 Mark III 2006 model. This is 2 litre petrol in the workshop and we're going to be replacing a thermostat. So as you can see I've got a new bit here. Um, pretty easy, there's three bolts holding it uh, to get it off. But the only problem is getting to it obviously to undo them and I'm going to show you today how to do it. So obviously the first thing is obviously this job you don't need to go up. Um, any air on the lift to be honest you can do it just on your drive uh, all you have to do is get to your draining plug for the coolant because you have to drain all the coolant out of the system before you take this off and obviously after once you uh, put the coolant back in the system bleed it and recheck for any leaks but the new thermostat comes already with the rubber seal which is important make sure that the rubber seal is on there Right, so the reason I'm doing this job today and the first sign of obviously thermostat issue is the thermostat that we've got on this car is stuck open. No matter if it's summer or winter time, it does take quite a long time to warm up uh, to get to normal operating temperature, and especially if you're using the heater as well. And that is a quite clear sign, um, obviously, of the thermostat being stuck open. So just to let you know, you might have noticed a lot of tape around the connectors, around the engine bay and the cover missing. Uh, so what's happening here is my girlfriend's going to be tidying up the engine bay, is her car. So the first step to this job, obviously make sure the car is not hot. Uh, you've got the cooling bottle there. So take the cap off and that will release all the pressure and that will help you get rid of more coolant out of the system. Uh, just by not having the pressure and vacuum in there so now we're ready to go up in the air or obviously get under the car and undo the coolant draining plug right so to drain the coolant is quite easy you already got a cut out there for the draining plug so you don't have to take anything off if you look there that's your plug you need a phillips screwdriver quite a big one undo that uh, it's not too tight because it's only plastic once you've done it obviously catch all the coolant if you're reusing it catch it all in the clean bucket or something and obviously then you can reuse it. If not, some people obviously use this opportunity to replace the coolant if you had the old coolant in the system for five years at least. Right, so here we are, just a plastic screw, like I said, uh, with the rubber ring on it. So don't lose the rubber that you got on there because that's what seals it properly. And once you drain all the coolant, just get it in there. Don't go too mad on it because it's only plastic. Uh, you'll see when it feels right, when it's tight. Uh, so obviously make sure it's all empty it doesn't take long it takes about two minutes to completely empty the system right so the next step is to do 10 mil there the clip and the other 10 mil there once they are done you'll be able to wiggle the whole pipe off of there and the other thing you can do what well, you should do is to wiggle this off all the wiring it just locates in there in the rubber uh, so literally all you have to do is just wiggle it off of there and it'll come off there you go like I say, it sits in there. Just get that out of the way. Let's unplug this as well. Uh, so you unplug it by squeezing them blue tabs in and that will slide off. So as easy as that, obviously going to need two hands, but that's what you have to do. Just push them in and it will come off. So the next step once the hose is off is to unplug the throttle body and before you do this I do recommend unplugging or disconnecting the battery there so you got the 10 mil so just take the negative terminal off once that is off uh, you can obviously unplug that and then you need four bolts eight mils on there that you need to take them off there's two under there as well see if I can get my camera in there yeah there's another one there one there one there and one there you can use this opportunity if you want once the throttle body is off to clean it as well because as you can see there's already residue there and the other thing you have to do before you take the bolts off is you got the uh, hose that goes in there the connector the pipe take that off there's a little clip holding it on there and there's another one down here uh, so get that one off as well by using the pliers Right, so now we're ready to unplug it. Just 
squish the tab there and it'll come off, get it out of the way and get them eight mils off now as well. Right, that's the throttle body off. That's for the bolts that I was talking about. They're quite long as well. And we're gonna clean this stuff off as well because don't forget, you have got a seal that goes in there and you need to make sure that you put the seal in there first so it doesn't stay on there, it just stayed on there because there was too much dirt and it got stuck. But yeah, clean the seal and then push it in there. There's a little tab there which is located that fits at the top. So make sure you push it in there properly. So yeah, first of all, I'm gonna clean it. So for next step, you're gonna need a water hose clamp pliers. They're definitely handy. I do recommend having a pair of them as well. And I'm gonna show you what holes you have to take off, or actually two of them. Once the clips are off, you just have to wiggle them and twist a little bit and they will come off. Lovely job, there's one out of the way. Push it somewhere out of the way so you've got plenty of space to get to the bolts. And now the other one. And get it out of the way. Lovely. Sorry, it went slightly out of focus just to let you know guys, obviously. Uh, we've got the bolts there, one there, and the other two on the other side. And you can definitely get to them now. So the three eight mils are off now. I'm just gonna get a bit of blue roll, catch a bit of corn that's there, and just you just have to wiggle it and it will come off. Yeah, I didn't catch all of the coolant, but never mind. Right, so obviously I would definitely recommend double checking that the new one is the same shape and the fitting as the other one. So if we look here, they're obviously the same. This one's slightly longer. They are slightly modified where the hose joins, but it is updated unit, so it's fine. It's not an issue. I did check that. Right, guys, so obviously before you fit the new one on, make sure that the rubber seals sit on there properly, uh, because if not, it will leak. And now we're ready to put that on there. It is going to be a bit fiddly, because we need to start at least one of the bolts, and I would suggest to start this one first. So get it on there. So I've started that screw loosely, I'm just going to do it up a little bit so I can still move it to adjust it to fit the other ones in. So let's start it up. Let's try and get the other one, the bottom one in there. Once you've got two in there, you can do them up a bit more because uh, once two are in there, the third one should go in. Obviously everything's aligned now. And the last one's going to be the tricky one. So I'm going to leave it, I'm going to put it in the socket and try and guide it by using the light to look in there. And in the same time, try not to drop it. So the torque setting for them, um, from what I found, is around 10 to 12 newton meters. Uh, but that's what I found online because I can't find it on my program for some reason. So that's what you should do it up to. Once that is done up, obviously put all the coolant hoses back on, put the clips on and reinstall everything. Like I say, if you wanna uh, use this opportunity to clean your throttle body, please do make sure all that black stuff is off of it. You can use the proper throttle body cleaner. I can put a link in the description below, or you can use a brake cleaner that will do the job as well. But make sure that you put the seal in there properly and clean all of that rubbish out of there and that the rubber seal sits in there and locates in that little hole. So the coin hose is already on there. Uh, the clip is sitting on there properly. Make sure you put it in the right place, obviously where it was before. And as you can see, I already cleaned and fitted the seal on the throttle, throttle body joint there. So do them up. Don't go crazy on it. This will be the same torque uh, as the thermostat, about 10 Newton meters on them. Right, so at this stage, you're ready to fit all the hoses that we took off of there, all the way on. And the same on the other hose that you got there. That goes on top, so fit that one on there as well. And then you're ready obviously to put the main bit on there. I plug it back in, don't forget, and that will go back onto the air hose that we got here as well. So like I said, this one just clips back on there. This slides back in there as well. 
Uh, do them up, they clip the 10 mils that hold the holes on there, plug in the throttle body, so that should be all good. Obviously, don't forget to connect the battery back up and just make sure everything's safe on there, everything's bolted on properly. Once that is done, you're ready to obviously top up the coolant and start the car up. Right, so everything's back on now. I also topped up the coolant, so that's all done up. And obviously all the hoses are on there. There's no coolant leaks. As you can see, I've managed to reuse the coolant because it was a good coolant. So I've put everything that came out of the car back in. So all you have to do now is obviously start up the car, let it run for about 10 minutes, make sure that the temperature obviously goes up. It goes up to 90 degrees to half there and it's no more operating temperature because then you have to double check the coolant level once the thermostat is open because you're going to bleed all the system. I do advise putting the heater on as well on hot while you're doing this because it will help the bleeding the system. And obviously keep an eye on the coolant, top it up if you have to. And yeah, just make sure that you're checking how long it's taking for it to warm up because if you had an issue with the open thermostat, you're going to find out that you're going to warm up a lot quicker and the whole air is going to start kicking in uh, pretty quick. Obviously in the beginning, you might have a bit of air leak in there, but I'm sure you'll get sorted very quick. And yeah, guys, this is it. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, comment below and like the video. And I'll see you soon. Bye.